It's Tuesday, December 17th, 2024, and we've got another big weather update for you today. Sorry, I'm a day late. Usually I do these weekly updates on Monday, but we're doing a Tuesday update for you. It's not an emergency or anything, but we do have some really significant weather changes on the way a little bit farther down the road that I think it's important that we talk about right now, especially as we get around the Christmas time frame. Things are going to get really interesting. Currently, we've got another big storm system coming into the West Coast and and we've got a lingering system out here in the south and east that's going to lead to some showers and thunderstorms today. Storm Prediction Center paints a marginal risk of severe weather from southeast Oklahoma, northeast Texas, up through Little Rock and into Memphis, almost to Nashville. Main threat here is going to be a very, very small chance of some hail and an even smaller chance of an isolated tornado or two. Can't rule it out, though. The same system has prompted a couple of tornado warnings over the past couple of days and some severe thunderstorms storm warnings yesterday in this same area. There's going to be some moisture and some instability in place here, and we are going to see some storms. Here's what the radar could look like today. There's that storm system in the Pacific Northwest bringing rain and snow to Oregon and Washington. A little bit of snow out here in uh, southern Minnesota and eastern portions of South Dakota as well around 3 p.m. today. But notice some of that moisture is starting to convect here in Arkansas and Louisiana. Those will turn into thunderstorms maybe this evening into the early morning hours tomorrow so really the marginal risk for today doesn't really go into effect until tonight uh, and more so into Wednesday morning you can see how we actually don't get really full-fledged thunderstorms and weak ones at that until 2 a.m. these will be popping up from just north of Dallas over towards Little Rock and then once again back up towards Paducah Kentucky moving towards Memphis and Nashville they're probably going to be at their strongest right around the time they get to Memphis this will be about 7 a.m. tomorrow and and this will bring about some lightning, some thunder, some winds, and once again, a very, very, very small chance of an isolated tornado or two. Heavy snow in Chicago around this time on the backside, 7 a.m. here Wednesday. We're going to see lots of cold air pouring over the Great Lakes once again. This is going to lead to some lake effect snow and some just general heavy snow showers in places like northern Ohio, northwestern portions of Pennsylvania as we get towards 11 a.m. on Wednesday. Heavy rain from eastern Kentucky back down into Louisiana at this time, but the severe weather threat will likely be diminished quite significantly as we get towards the middle of the day on Wednesday. As that weather system continues to push on through, we're going to notice a couple of things. First of all, big warm surge down here in the southeast. It's going to be toasty, okay, on Wednesday around 1 p.m. in Atlanta and Birmingham, all the way over to Myrtle Beach and portions of North Carolina. We're going to be 15 to 20 degrees above average, but don't get used to it. This big area of cold air here is going to be coming across the Great Lakes. Once again, that's going to be one of the big uh, reasons we have lake effect snow over the next couple of days. Some significant lake effect snow maybe once again off Lake Erie. And then we're going to see that cold air kind of pour into the southern and central portions of the United States and eastern portions of the United States. And it's just going to sit there for a while. Saturday, December 21st at 1 p.m. It's still going to be much colder than normal in New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Virginia, all the way down into Florida, the Gulf Coast here. We're going to see some areas that are 10 to 15 degrees below normal. It's going to feel quite chilly for a lot of us. But look at this major heat compiling in the West from Southern California, all the way up through Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. There's going to be some places that are 30 degrees above average, maybe even approaching record high temperatures in some of these places, especially as we get deeper into the weekend and into early next week, where we are going to be much below average. Once again, very cold over here in the Northeast, and then things are just going to continue need to get warmer over here in the west and this battle between air masses is eventually going to cause some sort of storm system especially whenever more cold air tries to come in and, and take out this big area of warm air that forms here but the big story as we approach christmas is going to be a heat wave essentially kind of overtaking the vast majority of north america what we're looking at here in the united states on christmas eve is yeah we're hanging on to a little bit of cooler than average air over here in the east but the vast majority of us are going to be much above average and you can't even see the rest of the map up here some parts of canada
Canada are going to be way above average. We're talking about a really anomalously warm pattern for Christmas here in Canada up towards the Arctic. And some of that will be impacting us right here in the central U.S. as well. Christmas Day, we are going to be experiencing what will feel like a Christmas heat wave from Texas up through Nebraska, South Dakota, and Iowa, and uh, especially up there into Canada. It's going to be very, very warm. Still holding on to a tiny little bit of cooler air down here south and east of the Appalachian Mountains, thanks to some cold air damming, but this is not going to be enough to bring you any snow, unfortunately, and the warm air will eventually overtake all of us here in the east coast as well. Very warm air, I might add, and this has got me a little concerned because anytime we see this much anomalously warm air uh, on the east uh, side of the United States uh, in the winter, and we start to see the cool air return to the west, this is a perfect setup for a big major storm system to come through sometime around Christmas or just after Christmas going towards New Year's. All signs are pointing towards a major mid-latitude cyclone coming through. Don't know exactly what that's going to look like just yet, but definitely a very strong signal for it. Here's what the weather map could look like as we go forward. Once again, some storms today, tonight. Uh, those are going to turn into snow showers up here in New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. That's going to lead to some lake effect snow as well. Next snow system comes down from Canada. A little clipper here dropping some snow in Minneapolis around 1 p.m. on Thursday. That's going to die out very quickly as it approaches the East Coast, but I do want to mention something. We were so close to seeing a major East Coast snowstorm here. If those two systems would have locked together a little bit earlier, this low pressure center right here would have buried uh, the Northeast in, in a ton of snow, and the models were hinting at that a couple weeks ago. It just didn't happen that way, but the cold air does try to lock itself in as we see significant troughing in the East, Big Ridge over here in the West, a couple more atmospheric river events in uh, the Pacific Northwest, big one on Sunday where we're going to see heavy rain in Northern California, Western Oregon, and Western Washington. Snow up there in the higher elevations. But for the most part, we're going to be very calm across most of the country on Christmas Eve. Everywhere except for the Pacific Northwest. And we're just going to be getting really warm, really hot here as we go into uh, Wednesday, December 25th. Some isolated showers over here in North Carolina and South Carolina. Some snow showers in Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming. But Christmas Day looks quite uneventful for the vast majority of us, but this is where things get interesting. Right after Christmas, things get a little bit more active with our jet stream because we have so much warm air compiled over here, and it's winter time. It's inevitable that we get another shot of cold air coming down, right? When that happens, which it looks like maybe right after Christmas, this is going to be one of the players that we have to deal with. A large mid latitude cyclone, a large storm system might try to come together that will bring significant snow on the backside and severe weather on the front side. For the past couple of days, we've seen a consistent signal actually for a severe weather outbreak sometime between Christmas and New Year's. Here's what the latest GFS shows. Look at that giant bowling ball trough there coming out of the west, bringing in ample moist air into the central plains over towards the southeast. Very broad, wide open, uh, warm sector, negatively tilted trough here. This is literally a perfect example of a wintertime severe weather outbreak for this general vicinity right in here. Hopefully this doesn't happen. Hopefully this is another fluke in the models. We are 300 hours out, so it's definitely going to change, but pretty consistent signal so far, so we have to watch it. That trough is going to eject off to the north and east, bringing severe weather maybe over towards the lower Ohio Valley, as well as we go into Monday and Tuesday. New Year's Eve here looks a little stormy as well, and then another system comes in behind that, and it looks like we're going to enter a more active pattern for the beginning of January, after a very quiet middle of December. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. From now until Christmas, we've got some storms to deal with and some atmospheric river events over there uh, in the west, but nothing crazy other than the anomalously warm temperatures that a lot of us are going to be seeing. What happens after that is a mystery, but it's looking somewhat active. And this right here is plum disgust. Okay, this right here, I, I, I don't even like looking at this. Our, our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from Christmas Eve to New Year's is, I mean, everybody, literally everybody in the United States, even most of Alaska and Hawaii are expecting above average temperatures and in some places much above average temperatures. So get ready for a toasty and mostly warm Christmas. If you're dreaming of a white Christmas, wake up. It ain't happening. But here's some good news. If you're excited for Christmas, even though we probably won't have a white Christmas for most of us, um, look here. Reindeer harnesses have been upgraded with extra comfort padding for the long journey. 
we've got a live Santa tracker ready for you over on the Ryan Hall Y'all Extra channel. Okay, Y'all Bot's going to be tracking Santa for 26 hours starting on Christmas Eve and going all the way through Christmas Day. This is a recording from last year. Our tracking system was tracking Santa over Japan around 15Z, and the same thing is going to be happening this year. And you'll actually hear me talking to Santa throughout the day, guiding him uh, weather wise. Base to Santa, sleigh speed optimal. You're tracking ahead of schedule. So we've got live communications. We hear what Santa hears in the air. Ho, ho, ho! Gliding over the beautiful Japanese Alps, I can see the breathtaking snow-capped peaks reflecting the moonlight. The warm glow from the homes in the villages below is a delightful sight, reminding me of the nation's vibrant culture and love for the festive season. Santa, the chimney width expansion module is ready for emergency deployment. Okay, so as you can see, really fun, really awesome. So we're going to be tracking Santa's speed in real time, his altitude. Uh, we're going to be able to tell you how long uh, it's going to be before he gets to your town. And also a live real-time count of how many presents have been delivered and how many presents remain. Lots of other fun stuff as well. You'll be able to interact with Yallbot and ask Yallbot when Santa's going to be to your town. This will be on all day starting Christmas Eve, probably around 4 a.m., going all the way until December 26th, around 2 a.m. or something. It takes 26 or 27 hours for Santa to make the full trip. Yeah, make sure you tune in. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We'll track Santa over on the Ryan Hall Y'all Extra channel. Go subscribe to that. It's the same live stream that does our 24-7 weather coverage right now. It'll be on there. Other than that, we do have snow coming at some point, so I want to remind you once again that we still have a limited time where we're 20% off on our y'all meters over at shopryanhall.com. Go grab you one. Thank you guys so much for giving us the best job in the world. This is a great way to support us if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ooh.